eat off my plate? You wanna eat off me? When I had my vision, you couldn't see. I'm off the bed, I think. I'm only doing shit that's gonna make me elevate. Only one people around that's gonna make me better than that. It's so ooh, ooh. They ain't asked how I get that ooh. Hey, so it's Kiwi, aka Budget Baby, back with a new video, a new type of video. And this video, as you can see, is a cash stuffing video. And what is cash stuffing? Well, cash stuffing is basically when you budget your money by stuffing cash into labeled envelopes. Okay? And the reason why you would like to cash stuff is so that you can budget your money every day and you're not just recklessly spending. And you can keep track of your bills, necessities, and your funds and little things that you would like to spend your money on. So this is basically like a planner or a budget packer or basically. And if you're asking why would you want to do this? Why would you want to cash stuff? Well, because in the past i was very reckless with my money so i wanted to be more organized and i wanted to but learn how to budget so i watched a few videos of cash stuffing which one of my favorite cash stuffing youtubers is pink budgets and i basically learned from her but i do my own little thing as well so i will be like to show you guys how to cash stuff or at least show you how i cash stuff and then you know you guys can do how do it how you like to do it if you do enjoy watching and doing this and i'm teaching you guys how to budget and penny pinch you know whatever you want to call it so i'm going to be showing you how i cash stuff in this video see as you can see these are some of the items that you might need which i have my binders my budget baby binders and then I have my calculator to calculate my funds when I can't do it on the top of my head. I have my notes book, my cheetah print notes book with my diamond crested pen and my marker, my Sharpie pink marker, the money, of course. And then I have my cash holder, which you can get all of this stuff on Amazon. And if so, I'll have the link down below in the description bar. So let's get back to what we came here to do and that is to budget baby feel me so <laughs> let's get on with the video my notes basically have everything that um budget baby will be doing so these are a list of necessities like bills and things that i have to pay for the month or bi-weekly and I have this all here so some of these things are by by weekly and some of these are by the month some of them could be for the week as well and then we have sinking funds so I guess you're asking what is a sinking fund a sinking fund is um, the opposite of a necessity or a bill it's basically things that you would like to s fund like you know invest in so here I have a few investments that I I'm doing and I'll re I'll go down the list for you in just one minute so basically what I did was in pink sharpie I listed all of the necessity and bills that I have for the month that are most important to me that I use cash for I mean I do put this on my bank account but I also have other bills that I just keep on my card I don't take off you know like rent and things like that that stays on my card and I just send it to the landlord you know how that goes but anyways so these are the list of things that I spend monthly, religiously, and this is what budget baby funds I will be inputting today in the binder. Then this is my sinking funds. Sinking funds consist of a few things that I would like to invest in, and let's start going down the list. So first, my budget baby funds is household, laundry, cell phone, internet, sitter, which is a babysitter, 
Uber, Uber because I'm not driving right now, spending, TV apps, printer ink, and $1 savings. What is a $1 savings? So basically, when I go through the month or the week and I'm spending cash, I'm spending cash. If I get back dollars, I put them away and I save them in my budget baby binder. I save them in my budget baby binder and then eventually as the dollars accumulate, I will count them and turn them into basically what we call in the budget community what we call exchanging bills so eventually if my envelope gets too full with dollars i will go and exchange those bills to bigger bills and then start my one dollar savings all over again okay next we have our sinking funds sinking funds so first i have baby bossy who is my daughter and she does have a youtube channel her link will be down her channel link will be down in the description bar as well so baby bossy she gets 250 dollars because of the child tax credit that parents are receiving at the moment so she gets 250 and then right here we have her brother who is the boss man he will be starting a channel very soon and when he does his links will be in my description bars below okay and he also gets 250 so whatever baby bossy gets boss man's get okay so they both get 250 and i give them their money from their child tax credit and i save it for them so since we are starting in september i did not get the september child tax credit but i did get the august so i will be inputting the august child tax credit in the sinking fund okay next we have dining back to school back to school won't be getting anything because you know they're already in school so i don't have to really give them anything right now because we have already depleted that fund okay christmas shopping car vacation debt and then a house I don't know if you can see this. I'm so sorry. Okay, basically. So, those are my sinking funds, and these are my uh, budget baby funds. Okay? And now, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to count the money. So, what I'm saying, I'm going to count what we're left with, like basically what we have. And then I'm gonna input, start to input them into this, which is the cash holder, which I said like you could, the link is down in the description bar. So I'm going to um, put this money in here. I'm gonna separate it after I count it. So uh, if you would like to count it with me, let's just get to it and count. Okay, so basically we're going to be counting this money basically we'll be counting now how much we have and we will be using the calculator so let's start so we have 100 200 300 400 500 so we have 500 600 Seven hundred. We have fifty, seventy, ninety. Ninety five. One hundred. So, so far we have 500, 600, 700, and 800. So, $800. Let's turn this on. 800. Okay. Two, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, so now we have one, two, three hundred. We want to add three hundred. Now we have twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. We have fifty-five dollars. Fifty-five dollars. 
plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25. No! Plus 25. And that leaves us with a total of $1,180. Okay, so now that we know how much money we're working with, we can start to organize the money and place it in the trays. So I want to put my 100s right here because I don't have 10s. Otherwise, it would be in this slot. But because I don't have any 10s, as you can see, we're going to put our 100s right here. We're going to put our 20s right here. Oh, I'm sorry, not 20s. We're going to put our 20s right here. We're going to put our 50s. We're going to put our good old 50s right here. Oh, one more, I'm missing a 50. Okay, and we're going to take our Abraham Lincolns, <laughs> our fives. Mr. 20, Mr. I think that's Andrew. Okay, we're going to put our Lincolns here. And we're going to put our 25 Washingtons here. Okay, so next. What we're going to do is, since we know and understand how much money we have and we're working with, which is $1,180, we're going to come back to our budget baby notes. And each item or list or necessity or bill, whatever you want to call it, has the number, uh, how much we're going to be inserting into the fund. So obviously you can see our first one is household so this is our budget baby binder and we're going to start off with her she's so cute isn't she okay like i said the description bar will be below so she can stay right here and we can just move her out the way for now okay so let's start off here we go so we have household and as you can see household gets $40 so what we'll be inserting is 220s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Laundry is next and laundry will be getting $20. Cell phone will be getting $75. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a $50 bill, a $20 bill, and a $5 bill. My internet bill will be getting $35. So I'll be taking a 20, two tens, two fives, well, three fives. That's $35 for the internet. Sitter will be getting $60. So I'll be taking three twenties. Okay. 
Uber will be getting $40. I do take a lot of Ubers, but okay. Spending will be getting $20. TV apps will be getting $25, and TV apps consist of like Hulu or maybe Netflix, depending on how I'm feeling that month. So, 25 Printer ink will be getting $5 forget they're already open and one dollar savings is the last fun in this budget baby binder and as you guys remember when I counted my money I had 25 singles but we'll count again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so $25 is going into our $1 savings. Okay. So we're done with our budget baby binder. Now we'll be moving on to our sinking funds binder. And isn't it cute? It has holographic, colorful pastel seashells. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I just said. Okay. So like I said to you guys before, baby bossy and boss man are getting their child tax credit, which is two fifty each. So we're gonna grab these blue faces two of these blue faces one fifty dollar bill for baby bossy and then we're gonna grab two more blue faces and a fifty dollar bill for the boss man Okay, as we can see, dining is getting $10. Mm -mm. So if dining is getting $10, I'm gonna grab two fives. One and two. Okay, back to school is not getting anything because that fund is depleted. Christmas is getting a hundred dollars. Shopping is getting fifty dollars. Car is getting twenty dollars. Vacation is getting forty dollars. That's two twenties. One. Two. Debt is getting seventy five dollars. Seventy five big ones. So I'm gonna get a twenty. This fifty and this five. I like to put bills in order. Okay. And then we have house, and house is getting $40. 
house is basically what I plan on doing, you know, like eventually in the future, getting a big, nice house. So house just got $40 in my sinking fund. And that's about it. So I'm going to put my sinking funds binder away and that'll be basically my cash stuffing video. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see me do more videos like this and you want to keep up with my budgeting. And I will be giving out budgeting tips too and teaching you guys how to save your money. I mean, this is a great way to save your money because I mean, you can see where your money is going. And um, instead of just spending, because I mean, it's been a lot of days I've been at Starbucks and I'm like, where has my money been going? And then I go back to my account and I see Starbucks everywhere. And matter of fact, I think I'm going to get another binder because Starbucks will be in one of my labels. <laughs> <laughs> but okay you guys thank you for watching this video and see you soon Mwah.